This video will provide an overview of the vehicle option codes used in the Porsche 944 series, where to locate them, how to decode them, as well as a summary of some of the more desirable factory options. Every 944 manufactured was given a build tag sticker that includes the VIN or chassis number that should match the other VIN markings on the car, the vehicle type, which will be 944 for the naturally aspirated cars and 951 for the turbos, the engine and transmission codes, the paint and interior codes, and a list of the included options for the build. You'll find the options sticker located in the cargo area inside the rear body panel, just to the left of the hatch lock mechanism. All you need to do is unsnap the carpet liner from the rear hatch area, pull it back to reveal the sticker, and you'll see the vehicle options listed down at the bottom. Once you have the codes, there are a few different ways you can go about decoding the options. There are quite a few comprehensive option code lists available on some of the 944-centered websites like 944online.com, Clark's Garage, and Lindsay Racing, among others. So if you have just a few codes to look up, it's pretty easy to scroll through and identify the option definitions. There are also a few option decoder tools available for online use. One is found at kindle.com slash Porsche slash options. And once you've navigated to the site, all you need to do is select the vehicle model and the vehicle year. Then enter the applicable codes separated by spaces or commas and click the decode button. And that will quickly produce a table of the listed options with their associated descriptions for review. As you're looking at the options list, the first code will always be the country code. And C02 indicates a US specification model with a catalytic converter installed. And then it will basically run down the list of stereo specifications, interior and exterior accessories, customizations, wheel types, performance packages, and things like that. When it comes to some of the more desirable factory options, that will consist of things that generally improve the car's overall performance, like the limited slip differential and sport suspension. Code 220 is the 40% locking differential, and 030 is for the Kony Sport shock absorbers. Some other rare items include things like sport seats, code 409, and a variety of premium wheels like painted Fuchs, code 348, among others. When it comes to wheel codes like 395 and 401 that display forged light metal wheels, that would indicate a Fuchs wheel. The early 944s generally came with ATS cookie cutters or black centered Fuchs as an option. On the later cars, the addition of the anti-lock braking system changed up the wheel offset and eliminated Fuchs as an option. So you'll either see phone dials or design 90s in most cases, sometimes the gully decal, but the cookie cutters, the phone dials, and the D90s are all cast aluminum wheels. The Fuchs wheels were forged, making them stronger and lighter. And given that and the iconic look of the Fuchs wheel um, carried forward from the 911s, they typically command a price premium in most cases. There are also some option codes used to denote special edition vehicles, and that would include 754 for the Turbo Cup cars, 757 for the 1988 Celebration Edition, and 758 for the limited edition 1988 Silver Rose Turbo S. If you find yourself looking at a Turbo Cup car, there's going to be little question about what it is, but the Celebration Edition is a lesser known model. In 1988, Porsche wanted to commemorate production of the 100,000th 944 coming off the line, and they did so by producing 500 US specification Celebration Edition cars, 250 in satin black metallic and 250 in Zermatt silver metallic. They featured a black and gray checkered studio cloth interior, a split rear back seat, larger 16 inch phone dial wheels, and a special edition medallion or coin mounted inside the glove box door. The Celebration Edition cars don't typically demand a higher premium due to their general obscurity and lack of performance enhancements, but they're still a unique piece of the 944 story. It's a different situation for the limited edition 1988 Turbo S, where of the roughly 718 Turbo S cars brought to the United States, about 339 of them received the silver rose metallic paint and a maroon studio cloth interior. The car also featured 16 inch club sport wheels, 030 sport suspension as standard, a limited slip differential, transmission oil cooler, and a larger K26-8 turbocharger that increased engine output to 250 horsepower. Another interesting item that will occasionally pop up are codes 666 and 900, which are without body preservation and tourist car. 
When Porsche was shipping cars overseas, they would add an anti-corrosive coating like Cosmoline to prevent the cars from rusting during transportation. But a U.S. citizen visiting Germany could purchase a car and have it factory delivered in Germany, and there wouldn't be any need for Porsche to add that coating. And usually those cars would make a proper tour of Europe before reaching their final destination in the United States, which doesn't really increase the value at all, but makes for a pretty interesting story. There are a few option codes out there that won't show up on most lists, and one of them is code H38. This was a dealer option package that bundled some items together and allowed Porsche to differentiate the cars from the run-of-the-mill base cars that were being ordered at the time. It would often include options like removable top with electric tilt, electric rear window wiper, and protective body side moldings, etc. Now that we have this code information, it can assist with both car shopping efforts as well as restoration purposes. So let's say you're looking to pick up a 944 that has a limited slip differential, code 220, or the sport suspension package, code 030. Well, most of the original window stickers for these cars are long gone, and sometimes existing owners aren't fully aware of all the options on their cars. So you could ask to see the options code sticker and determine the build specifications for the car, and then adjust your buying position accordingly. As far as restoration goes, maybe you're looking to return your car to its original factory specifications. So if your sticker lists code 425 for the rear window wiper, but when you look at the car, the rear wiper mechanism has been deleted, you could then take steps to track down those parts and have them installed on the car to restore its originality. A lot of times you'll also find that an aftermarket CD player has been installed on these cars, and maybe you'd like to switch back to that retro cassette player that was original to the car. Well, code 160, for example, lists the Blaupunk Charleston SQR26 radio as a factory installed option, and you can still find these units available today. They can sometimes be a bit costly, but if you shop around, you may be able to find one for two, three hundred dollars. And sometimes people will delete the power steering or the air conditioning for performance reasons, and this is another way to identify those cases as well. Well, that concludes the Porsche 944 options codes overview. If you've yet to decode your car's options or if you're not familiar with everything you've got, go ahead and run your codes and see if you've gotten lucky.